Hello guys, welcome back to Medical Coding Club. So today I'm going to discuss about ENM interview questions. So as we all know, ENM having a huge demand and uh, there are many job opportunities out there. So if you are a fresher, try to get into ENM services. I mean ENM projects. Okay. So today let's begin uh, with the video. Before that, you know, before getting started with the video, if you are not subscribed my channel, please do subscribe and support my channel okay if you do support and then i'll get the motivation and i'll bring more information if not i cannot be active okay so uh, okay we'll start the video the first question okay the very common question very very and uh, you know you should know this okay the guidelines of evolution and management how that evolved how ENM evolved? What are the guidelines we followed? Okay, we have followed 1995 guideline and we have followed 1997 guideline, and after that, uh, there were uh, changes in 2021 also. And now, 2023, there are many changes, right? So, all these guidelines you should know. Okay, if they ask, uh, you know, how we follow 1995 guideline and uh, the ENM services, okay, in 1995. We followed a body system, okay, body system and uh, comprehensive and, you know, all this, the body system we followed. Coming to 97 guideline, here bullet points, right, bullet points we have followed and uh, all the bullet system and bullet points that will come to 1997 guideline. And again coming to 2021, the time has introduced in 2021 uh, and uh, Coming to 2023, now uh, we have uh, time-based and we have MDM-based guideline. So we have to make sure we we are adhered to both the guideline, and we should make sure that while uh, evaluating evaluating the ENM, we should go with either MDM or time. You know which one will go higher? We follow that, right? So you should know this. This is the first question and the must and should question. Okay. So the next question is. Uh, again, it's a very basic question. The difference between ENM outpatient and emergency department. Okay, how this ENM outpatient works and uh, how ED works. Okay, the first thing is ENM. It's like a uh, provider. We will build the ENM outpatient. In outpatient, I'm saying. So in outpatient, it's provider. We we are billing to provider itself. Okay, coming to ED here, we'll be doing the facility coding. Okay, most of the time we'll be doing the facility coding. Facility in the sense we have to build uh, for uh, facility like uh, building the, and the, the technical equipment, um, staff, you know, all they, they will be included in the facility. So the for whole facility we will be charging. I mean, we will be building the, those uh, procedure or anything, whatever the services they have rendered. Okay. And another thing is in a EM outpatient, we will have both the new patient and establish patient okay these two guidelines you should know to whom we call new patient and to whom we call it uh, established patient all these basics uh, you should know and then coming to ed and one more major difference in ed is if you take any other services under enm like uh, op services ed don't have time okay we follow only mdm in the emergency department so this is a important thing okay this is uh, you know a very key thing and next thing is as you all know the difference between uh, outpatient and inpatient so outpatient is like a clinical visit the patient will come and he will go okay in the same day but uh, coming to uh, inpatient patient will stay overnight so that we will consider as enm ip okay so then you should know all the services comes under evaluation and management like as i said uh, you know op ip critical care and uh, you know snf skilled nursing facility preventive care okay and observation in like all those uh, you know initial inpatient yeah, and subsequent so all those uh, enm at least if you did not work on those uh, services the basic things okay these services comes under enm that uh, you know at least that knowledge you should have okay 
and then coming to modifiers okay modifiers all the enm modifiers for example 24 modifier and then 25 modifier again 27 modifier so these three modifiers are very important because uh, all this uh, will go with the enm right so 24 is uh, unrelated procedure during post operative period right and then 25 is significantly identifiable procedure and then 27 is multiple uh, you know multiple uh, sessions on same day in the same like uh, uh, for example 27 modifier if they ask to explain you uh, multi, what is this 27 modifier says multiple op visits okay outpatient visits on the same session i mean not same session same day okay for example maybe patient has visited in the morning session and the same patient is coming back afternoon for uh, something different okay morning he came for uh, maybe dental pain okay toothache and uh, afternoon he is coming for some abdominal pain okay so then it's a uh, the domain is different right the department is different so this is where we will give the 27 modifier to subsequent visit and then coming to 25 we all know that uh, you know whenever they are performing the procedure we will be giving the modifier 25 to enm and again 24 modifier it is an unrelated procedure to uh, you know whatever the procedure which is in, in the global period okay and then uh, next thing is all and others uh, other modifiers also important like 58 uh, 78 modifier and uh, 59 modifier 51 modifier all this procedural modifier also important okay and then uh, coming to uh, the the un one most uh, like major thing is mdm they will definitely going to ask explain uh, mdm components okay so the mdm components requires one complete session i believe okay because i, I if i start explaining it will take uh, more time more than 45 minutes we need to explain what are the problem addressed things and what are the data points how to calculate data and how to calculate risk and all together how will lead to enm okay all this matters so i'll make a separate video for mdm itself and then coming to uh, enm out uh, op i mean outpatient will be you know in his uh, here in india uh, uh, take uh, bangalore itself okay in this uh, karnataka itself enm out op will be more okay op in the sense provider visits right so we will we'll build we will build for uh, directly to the provider so there will be more job opportunities for that what are the things you should know i'll tell okay so if you are uh, going to enm op then you should be uh, well versed with the new patient and established patient guidelines and the codes are 9920222205 and again 9920212925 okay all this uh, code series you should know and then the um, the minor procedures which happens which can be done in a clinic itself the minor procedures minor procedure uh, in the sense you know injections and uh, sometime high v push also they can perform uh, in like uh, and then uh, you know uh, like uh, the lab tests and then uh, that's not a procedure i'm saying uh, lab testings and then uh, uh, laceration repair this, those integumentary part is there no that is uh, common and also ent okay ent that uh, whatever the procedure related to ear uh, nose and eye can be done in clinic itself okay so you should be thorough with all those procedures um, and also uh, like uh, uh, incision and drainage and as i said laceration simple laceration will be performing in the clinic itself okay only when it is complicated then there will be a chances to a patient get shifted to ed okay and then um, like a nail debridement um then destruction of lesions okay all these small small things can be done in the clinic so you have to go through those uh, uh, trigger point injections and uh, orthosynthesis okay and coming to medicine section immunization and again nebulization 
and uh, what are the other things the small small minor things can be done in enm op okay so all those procedure you can focus and you should have a minimum knowledge okay when the interviewer ask you at least you should be able to tell something okay you, this candidate knows something regarding the service okay all those you can uh, practice and uh, coming to other uh, things are maybe yeah yeah these are the very common questions okay and uh, as i said they will definitely going to ask either they are going to ask a problem addressed point like uh, give me an example for uh, acute uncomplicated illness or acute complicated illness or maybe uh, acute uh, you know illness with systemic symptom or exacerbation so all those they can ask and coming to data uh, they can also ask uh, you know give me an example for appropriate source or uh, give me an example for independent historian okay and uh, all those they can ask okay and then coming to risk social determinants okay and then uh, the things prescription drug management over the counter drug and if they are uh, doing any you know if they are planning for any minor or major surgery so all those the components of risk okay so that uh, need uh, time to explain so i will definitely make an another video and i'll uh, i'm going to explain those uh, mdm things okay now uh, apart from this yeah these are the very basic questions so prepare uh, for these as i said guidelines and uh, uh, they can also ask the major changes in 2023 like what are the codes have been deleted and what are the new codes have been added okay and one more thing this is a definite question okay preventive services how we follow preventive services this is also enm service but it's an annual wellness visit right annual wellness checkup so this uh, annual wellness can be billed once in a year okay the patient will come and he will take the annual wellness checkup so many labs will be they will be performing and then you know in that we have a guideline so this uh, in the preventive services also we have new patient and established patient okay so the same thing uh, and then uh, and also it depends on patient age okay like they will categorize the patient age like uh, uh, 18 to or some uh, 25 or uh, sorry it depends okay all the code description have, have some age limit to code that and then coming to medicare payer okay preventive services for <coughs> medicare payer medicare payer we will have three codes okay g0402 and then uh, g04038 and then g0439 okay g0402 is for initial enrollment the patient the medicare plan the one who is taking the medicare in the first 12 months we are billing g0402 okay and the next uh, visit subsequent visit we can bill g0438 okay these two are limited code in his lifetime we bill only once g0402 within uh you know 12 months of enrollment into medicare plan and then g0438 is a just a subsequent year okay and then g0439 is a, a subsequent okay for example today to the 2021 we build g0402 and in 22 we are going to build g0438 okay in coming years whenever he takes general wellness we will be billing the g0439 subsequent all 2023 also we bill 439 24 439 likewise it continues okay this is a uh, thing for medicare payers okay and uh, if it is normal commercial payer means we will be billing if it is a new patient we can bill 993852 uh, the you know the code set will go on and if it is established the code start from 99 Three nine series. Okay, this is regards to preventive services. And again, coming to evaluation and management. Oh, sorry, not evaluation and management. Coming to critical care services. Okay, critical care services. Here they can ask the time limit. Okay, so maybe the patient uh, there in the documentation you will be seeing uh, critical care 
uh, services has rendered okay so the timing if you see there will be a 20 minutes of critical care 15 minutes of critical care so in those instance you should code ed i mean emergency department code why because to code critical care we need minimum 30 minutes okay then only we can go with the critical care or else we will be coding the ed codes appropriate enm code we can bill okay and one more thing is inclusive services of critical care and exclusive services of critical care okay so this is a very important you should check what are the services is included in critical care and the next thing is nicu okay neonatal care the neonatal care also we have the age limit codes so 0 to i mean 28 days of uh, you know baby we we'll have one code and up to 5 to 6 years we have separate codes for nicu that is also some services included in nicu also okay you should check all those and then hmm, yeah these are the important basic questions i can say basic uh, when you are going for a enm interview all these questions and answer you should know okay so apart from this mdm i have to explain i'll definitely make a video on uh, step by step how to consider problem addressed how to consider data and how to consider risk okay all together the mdm level how we are going to lead the appropriate enm so all those i'll make a video later but as of now as i said you have to be thorough with the enm guidelines 95 97 20, uh, 2021 and 2023 and coming to 2023 you should know how we are going to calculate yeah, either we go going with the mdm or we are going with the time and then uh, as i already said all the services comes under enm you should know and uh, enm op the differences between op and ip you should know and then as i said modifiers both enm modifiers and procedure modifier also uh, you know well and good you should go through all the procedural modifier as well and then yeah that's all all the minor procedure you can brush up and uh, i believe that's all that is enough you know if you answer all these questions they think you are a good candidate i'll uh, you know that's all guys thank you it's a, just a quick video it's just a, it's not like i'm not going to give you the elaborated answers as well i'm just giving you the questions and a little bit of answer like i can i hope uh, whoever preparing for ENM interview, they will definitely know all this. So I just, you know, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm stressing those. So these are the important things, right? So that's all. I'll make that MDM. Uh, definitely, I'm going to make that. So thank you all. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and support. And if you like this video, please do share with your friends. That's all I can ask you all. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you so much.